Let's bring in someone else who will be a senator alongside him, South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, watching all this. Uh, senator, great to have you with us tonight. What, is, what do you make so far of the pickups that you see in the Senate? What's your outlook for the rest of the night? Let us know. Well, number one, the, vic the victory party in Utah is without alcohol and caffeine, so they're just naturally <laughs> happy there. Uh, so, so the bottom line is that the conservative judicial train will keep running. We had a good night in the Senate. We're going to pick up three or four seats at least. Uh, President Trump has a lot to be proud of in terms of creating the enthusiasm in these uh, red state Trump states uh, that Democrats held. Without him, I don't think we'd had the night we have on the House side. It looks like we may lose by a few votes. We got to address the suburban women problem, women problem, because it's real. But I'm excited. It means judges keep uh, moving forward on, on the conservative side, and it's going to put some pressure on all of us to up our game. Senator, it's Brett. Uh, what about the House? I mean, do you foresee that this is going to be investigation after investigation? And how do you sense the Senate and the House working together, if at all? Well, uh, if they want to impeach President Trump, I would give them some advice. I've been there, done that with Clinton. Didn't work out for us. <laughs> I would think twice about it. Uh, it will blow up in their face. Now, the infrastructure. There's a natural fit for both parties to build out the infrastructure of this country. Uh, DACA for the wall, there's actually something you can do on immigration, maybe prison and sentence reform, and maybe some other things. But the reason we won is I think Kavanaugh united our party. The, car the caravan was a front to our sovereignty. The economy was good, and President Trump worked his butt off uh, to get out the Republican base vote. and. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling really good now. This is a good night for Republicans in the Senate. Cory Gardner did a great job. Uh, we're just going to have to find common ground with the Democrats in the House. If they want to investigate Trump to death and try to impeach him, then um, it'll blow up. Senator, you said that uh, Republicans have some lessons to learn when it, came, when it comes to women in the suburbs yeah. in this country. Um, Perhaps some of that goes to the issue of character that President Obama talked about. It goes to some of the issues of style for the president. Uh, you're close to him. What kind of advice would you have for him on that issue tonight? I think he said something right before the vote came in that, you know, maybe tone does matter. President Trump's been a great commander in chief. The economy is humming. We're safer. We're more prosperous. But, you know, Style does matter. Sometimes it can drown out substance. This is a good night by any measure on the Senate side. It's a great night for us. And I think the House, if they do take over the majority, the Democrats will be close. But you need to look at, you need to learn from every election. I think the president has already started the discussion about a better tone. There are things we can do with Democrats only if they'll work with us. If they want to stiff arm the president, then uh, they'll pay a price in 2020. You know, you were a big part of that hearing, uh, the Kavanaugh hearing, and obviously expressed your emotions yeah. during it. Uh, what percentage do you think that that affected what you're seeing in the Senate races tonight? 30 days before the election, three things happened. The Kavanaugh hearing, which was despicable, a Democratic debacle, united every Republican, no matter what stripe of Republican. This was a good man uh, that had his life ruined. And uh, Republicans were offended. We congratulated President Trump for nominating Kavanaugh, and we were disgusted with what the Democrats tried to do to destroy his life. I think it had a lot to do. I think Joe Donnelly, um, uh, 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 all of them in these Trump states, uh, it was really a very bad vote for them to take. The caravan, the caravan did not help either. Senator, you know, when we watched all of that play out with Brett Kavanaugh, uh, Justice Kavanaugh now, uh, some of the strongest voices yeah. were Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, the senators who came out the most strongly yeah. against him in that. They are both expected right. to be potential candidates. Is there a message for them tonight from what we're seeing? Yeah, you, you pretty much locked down the Republican majority. Uh, as much as you tried to destroy Kavanaugh, you destroyed your colleagues. Claire McCaskill, I think she's probably going to lose. Joe Donnelly's a fine guy. But when he voted against Kavanaugh, that was it for me. I hope Tester loses. Uh, you know, uh, Manchin won. He, he was smart enough to vote for Kavanaugh. I think red state Trump Democrats 
uh, it was a nightmare for them the way that uh, Spartacus and these other people handled the hearing. So maybe they don't understand this, but I do. Uh, you have a lot, you've done a lot of damage to, to uh, moderate Democrats, and one of the reasons we're winning big tonight in the Senate is because of the way you treated Brett Kavanaugh. And we'll learn from our problems with suburban women. I think President Trump is well on his way to getting reelected, and uh, we'll see what we can do with the Democratic House. All right, Senator Lindsey Graham from the great state of South Carolina. Senator, thanks for the time. <laughs> Thank you.